Hi, my name is Alessio Menconi. Uh, welcome in my channels. Today I would like to speak about the switching from pop, rock and blues to jazz because a lot of people is very scared about jazz and they think it's too difficult to understand, too difficult to study, but it's not real because if you have the right exercise you can switch from rock and pop from pentatonic scales easily to the first approach to jazz the first thing is to understand that in jazz music often you play changing scale when the chord is changing of course we are speaking about two different harmonic and uh, chord changes the first is when the chord changes are in the same keys for example if we are in C major and we play A minor D minor and G7 turn around the scale is always the same because C is Ionian A is Aeolian D is Dorian and G is Mixolydian of course you can change chords you can change scale but the first approach is to use the c major scale in four chords but the second and the most important is when uh, the chords are changing and uh, the key is different so for example if we play c major and we have this major scale After C major, we play A flat major. In this case, we have two scales and two keys. <coughs> so now you can play using two scales. And if we play one bar, for example, of C major, and one bar of A flat major. Now we have to listen and to understand, to learn this sound because every note we are going to play is a note in a relationship with these chord changes. Okay, stop for a while. C major, this is the scale, inside the scale we have an arpeggio. We continue in the second octave. This is a major 7 arpeggio. And we have the same arpeggio on A flat. Okay, and now uh, let's compare the two scales to understand uh, which notes we are in common and which notes are, are going to change. C is in common because it is the root of C and the third of uh, A flat. D, no. E, no. F is in common but is a strange note on C because it's the fourth. So we cannot play the fourth as a long note, but just very fastly. Because when you play the fourth in a major, it's like to, to have attention. So yes, is in common with the A flat major scale, Ionian scale, but it's not a good note to play in C. Then we have the G, and G is the fifth of C major, major seven of A flat. Then we have A and C, different. So we can play C and G as a beautiful note between the two scales. This is a uh, 
I can use this note to switch from the C major scale to A flat scale or the C. So if we have uh, one bar of C major and one bar or A flat, you have to change the scale exactly at the same time the chord is changing. When we have the, the first downbeat of A flat, you have to play one note right in the new scale. And the, the notes could be in common like the C or the G or change. So you have, uh, first of all, to learn very well the scale of C major then the scale of A flat major arpeggio Then you have to memorize also in a geometrical uh, approach. So you you see, you hear and you see also the notes. These notes are of uh, C major scale. When uh, we go on A flat, notes are changing. When I play this, This is a good note also in A flat, but this is uh, not good, so I have to change. This is a good note on C, but is uh, wrong on A flat, so we have uh, to change or uh, this uh, on this. Good in C is the ninth but it's not so good in A-flat. It could be good if we play the Lydian scale, but we can uh, <laughs> speak about this in the next uh, uh, lesson. So the E and the D could switch on uh, E-flat or F. So what you have to do is to start to play the scale, but not in this way, with continuous, but you have to play with intervals like arpeggio, and you can play whatever you want, fourth, five, six, seven interval from each note. same exactly the same you do in uh, in C the same you play in C you can play in A flat you can start to play this way I play for example four notes on C and four notes on A flat I switch this from C major scale to A flat major. I play this four note because I like to play six, five, three, and second, the nine, and I skip the fourth F because I don't like the fourth on the major scale. And then I move to the very close notes in A flat major. So this is the, the E flat fifth of uh, A flat. This is the same note on C because uh, it's the fifth of the C and the seven or A flat of F flat.
You can play also arpeggio. But if I play... This is good, but uh, it's, uh, it seems like an exercise. We, we have to switch from exercise to real improvisation. So if you play the same thing, the same rhythmic, it's like an exercise. So you have to switch from the last note of C to the first very close of uh, A flat. It could be the same because uh, it became the, the third of uh, a flat and this is a, an example that means switching from uh, C major arpeggio to A flat major arpeggio without play the same exactly the same thing repeat the same notes and switch to A flat major C starting from third, A flat starting from the fifth, C starting from G. I switch to scale or A flat, scale of C, scale of A flat. Watch exactly what I just played. I play the C scale starting from the third. Then from this note, this is the last note I just play in the C major scale. The first note has to be the A flat major scale. So I start from the, the closest notes from A to B flat because we just learned this fingering. And I continue to play the A flat scale starting from this note. I play four notes. This is the last because the, the bar is just finished. And I continue to play switching to C major scale from the closest note that is the E or the D. This means Switch to, to C, switch to A flat, arpeggio and a scale together, scale, scale, scale. This is a very good exercise to start development of the jazz improvisation. First of all, if you are coming from pop music and blues, you can do other exercises and you can, uh, for example, change fingering, change chords, starting from the C major and uh, going to B flat major. You change keys, so you start from B flat major and you go, for example, to E major, E flat major, E major. Same things. This is, for example, E flat major, E major, improvise. next lesson we can approach to different scale but this is the first things I use to uh, uh, teach to my students when they are coming from pentatonic scales rock and blues as every guitar player did also me I started with the uh, rock and blues and I switch step by steps to jazz with this kind of exercise that you can find, of course, in my video courses in uh, my website, alessiomiconi guitarinstitute.com. Ciao.